Hello guys, I'm back with another video. Sorry, it took so long. Uh, just to update you on the dog slide, like uh, what I'm, uh, I promise to be uh, concentrating on. So I fixed the dog slide on the printer itself. Let me take a long zoom. Okay, so it's mounted. It's not. Uh, in use yet but it's mounted on the printer itself so let me grab uh, oh yeah here yeah, okay so my printer height is currently standing at 59 centimeters and the dog slide is adding another 37 centimeters to the height All right but i think that should be enough so i will just need to add a top panel panel cover cover and the rest of the panel cover in front i will make a, a, a same opening uh, door here so that you can access the panel or we could just change the whole panel the whole acrylic panel to a full length up to the top so when we open the door we are opening up the whole up and down of the uh, entire printer instead of per door i don't know which is better uh, we'll see how it goes but so to explain a bit about the dog slide that we are developing so this is the moving dog like i mentioned so this all the dogs is currently at the back will be transferred to the front so they are front facing and the status LED will be visible so the umbilical instead of on the extrusion will go straight up to the back panel down here there will be a back panel so they will be going this way or down to the tool head so from here down to the tool head and this is a moving dock let me show you as you can see here so this will be moving up and down this way and up right up and down okay what they are running on is uh, this is a uh, MGN 9 rails MGN 9 H uh, supplied by Peter from Blue Rose for the project uh, the good thing is if you move one slide side down the other side will tends to move along with it so it's quite uh, uh, stiff but we will uh, ensure that both servos move at the same time up and down and they are running on MGN uh, 996 360 degrees metal gear servo and this is the servo track on the side here so they are basically running up and down the servo track if you take a look here I'll show you yep yeah as you can see they will be moving up and down here on the left eh, on the side so this is when it's fully up and this is when it's fully down the MGN rails is uh, 250 mm uh, MGN 9H uh, 2 MG 996 uh, 363 degree servo I tried using a smaller uh, gear for the servo but it takes a uh, much uh, slower time so I enlarge the servo and it seems to be much better when I do a test using the servo tester but uh, for the weight itself I've already tested it with uh, uh, 1.5 kilo on one servo and it has no problem the top so for two servos to be able to carry two kilo that's the total uh, expected weight of all the five tool heads plus the dog should be no problem so the top is not the issue the only concern i have is the time how long it will take to move up and down so basically the dog as you can see here will move fully all the way down so that the tool change can happen and the carriage will move back and this thing will go back up this way as you can see so this is our uh, dog slide in development we still have yet to program clipper to work for the servo and if 
let's say this semua uh, mechanism don't work I have also printed the uh, parts for uh, NEMA 17 this the one that is supplied by uh, Blue Rose as well so we have two of them ready to go but we are going to go with the silver ones because it's much more simpler you don't need any idlers or pulleys no so no belts no anything they are just basically riding up and down on this on the track and resting on the rails to ensure that the slides up and down is, is uh, smooth and square all right so uh, that's all for this update uh, do join our discord or leave a comment in youtube do like and subscribe to the channel you will be helpful and also if you have any question just post them in our discord all right guys see you